talk a little politics uh, this morning in the world waiting uh, for a grand jury's decision on a possible indictment of former President Trump. This comes as Mr. Trump held his first official presidential campaign rally in Texas over the weekend, strongly condemning the whole hush money investigation case against him in New York City. Brooke Schaefer is live with the latest details. Brooke. Hey, Adrian, good morning. That grand jury in New York is expected to meet today. It's still not clear, though, whether they'll hear any more witness testimony or when they could vote on a possible indictment to former President Donald Trump, who this morning is maintaining his innocence. He spoke publicly about the New York investigation for the first time over the weekend. He held his first 2024 campaign rally in Waco, Texas. Trump said he will be vindicated in this Manhattan investigation into alleged hush money payments to porn star Stormy Daniels during the 2016 election. Here's what the former president said about the investigation and about Daniels. The District Attorney of New York, under the auspices and direction of the Department of Injustice in Washington, D.C., was investigating me for something that is not a crime, not a misdemeanor, not an affair. Meantime, we know there is still heavy security this morning around the Manhattan DA's office. On Friday, a powdery substance and a threatening letter were found in the building's mail room. They were addressed to Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Authorities determined the substance was not dangerous, but in a memo, DA Bragg told his staff safety remains a top priority and his office will, quote, continue to apply the law evenly and fairly. As for today's expected meeting of the grand jury, Adrian, at this point, it's a wait and see to whether they will, in fact, meet later today. Adrian. All right, Brooke Schaefer for us live outside of Mar-a-Lago. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.